So I spent the weekend designing some mounting hardware to get the CYCX1 in the mid frame position. So I thought I'd show you how far I've got so far uh, with the 3D printed parts. Uh, the first part I came up with was kind of this, this rail uh, and I wanted to do a sort of a rail system to add some stability. And the idea was this, this would mount here and hold the controller in this kind of position. Um, and then I got kind of the idea that uh, I could use this mount to basically make a brace and keep this motor locked into that position without having to use the strap in the back. Um, so the next piece uh, I came up with was, uh, was this kind of shape. And the idea was that it would sit on here and then I would make another piece to fit here at the back and act as this brace. And then this part up here, this wedge, would then allow me to also stretch a piece between here and here and form effectively like a, a compartment uh, with some structure to fit uh, a battery pack on there. Uh, I'm considering using a pack, getting light speed bikes to make a 72 volt pack for me um, and get them to basically custom make it to fit in this space. Um, but doing a piece like this is kind of big and chunky and if you make any sort of mistakes like I did here and I didn't quite have the faces right so the holes didn't print um, and the angle also isn't right on this. So I thought I'll do a more modular way of doing things. Um, so the next piece uh, I made was this. It still has the same mount at the back but it just has a step here at the front. And that part goes on here like this. And then I made another wedge here to go on the front. And this piece sits up there like that there. Um, and then I also made um, a piece here to go. And that holds the, the motor in position with a bolt that runs through all of those. Um, the last piece I made sits up here on the back. And this is going to take um, a piece across the top. So I'll put this stuff on the bike and you can see uh, you can see what it looks like with it with it on. So these are the pieces fitted onto the bike. Um, then there's going to be a runner here, like I say, that's going to run across from this point into this point. I think I can get it pretty straight really. Um, and that'll form a shelf for any battery weight to sit on. And that way I'm not having to do a lot of strapping or having a lot of stuff going off the top tube. Um, and I should be able to get quite quite a clean look. Um, I have made modifications to this piece already because I think it's unnecessary really to have this top there. And I'm probably going to change this and remove this bottom piece there and just have like a simple kind of a C kind of shaped clamp here and a C clamp here. And that way, whatever piece I make should fit straight in between those two. Um, so if I come over here, um, Hopefully it will show you here on the laptop. This is what um, I'm looking at doing at the moment. Um, I'm printing this part at the moment, uh, which is the holder for the CYC controller. And uh, if I just pivot this around, yeah, this is the back mount there. And then this here at the top, this is the shelf piece that I've made. Um, so it's quite a wide shelf to take a good battery pack there. And I've changed the... Uh, the, the front clamp part here as well, and this sort of C-clamp piece that fits on to get rid of that shelving part because it's not needed. Uh, I've got to change this one up as well. And then at the back here, this piece fits in like a key into the shelf here and can slide in and out, which means that I don't have to then spend ages trying to get a really precise measurement from here. Right? I, I can be afford to be you know a millimeter, a few centimeters out. And also if I did it on a different bike, um, maybe I could reuse the same piece without, without too much trouble because it's not a precise piece that would only fit, fit one style of frame. Um, so that's where I am at the moment. And I'm going to keep printing these parts and getting it tidied away. And hopefully in the next few days, I should manage to get all of this onto the bike. One last thing, um, I'm still doing the competition. So at 500 subscribers, uh, I'm giving away a lucky bling ring. And... Uh,
1,000 subscribers, we're going to give away the, uh, the brand new, where is it? Yeah, the brand new Egg Rider V2. And all you have to do to enter is make a comment on one of my videos, preferably something, uh, something bike related, like a question or a suggestion or yeah, anything like that. All right. Thanks a lot. Cheers.